Hello, and welcome to Bright Dots Preschool with Miss Melinda. Hi to all my friends. Hi, I'm so glad that you came to preschool today. We are going to talk about a new letter. Oh, so if you have anything orange, go find something in your house that's orange. Do you have any toys or a stuffed animal? Can you find anything in your room or your front room? That is the color orange. We're also gonna talk about ovals. Do you know what shape an oval is? <gasps> Maybe you could find an oval. And then we are going to talk about an octopus. I don't know if any of you have an octopus. <gasps> that would be a silly pet to have. But if you have one, go find it. Maybe a plastic toy, that's what I have. Okay, go ahead and go find anything. And while we wait for you, we are going to sing a song. Should we sing Old MacDonald Had a Farm? You guys ready? Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a horse, E-I-E-I-O. With a neigh, neigh here and a neigh, neigh there. Here a neigh, there a neigh, everywhere a neigh, neigh. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a pig, E-I-E-I-O. What does a pig say? With an oink, oink here and an oink, oink there. Here, there, everywhere. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a chicken, E-I-E-I-O. With a cluck, cluck here and a cluck, cluck there. Here, cluck, there, cluck everywhere, cluck, cluck. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a cow, E-I-E-I-O. With a moo, moo here and a moo, moo there. Here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo, moo. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on his farm he had a sheep, E-I-E-I-O. With a ba-ba here and a ba-ba there. Here a ba, there a ba, everywhere a ba, ba. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. <laughs> Good job, did you guys make lots of animal sounds? That was great, very good. Okay, did all of our friends come back? Did you guys find something orange or an oval? What did you find? Can you tell me? Oh, my friends found some fun things. Do you wanna see what I found that's orange? This is gonna be Miss Melinda's hat for the day. Look at, I found an orange bandana. This is gonna be my orange hat. Here we go. Okay, who likes my orange hat? Give me a thumbs up. What, you don't like my orange hat? Well then give me a thumbs down. <laughs> Do you like my orange hat? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs up? Oh, thank you. You like my orange hat. Okay, let's see. I have something to show you, but first we need to talk about our letter. Our letter is letter O. What? It's just a circle like that with our fingers. It's so easy. So everyone do this with their fingers. Good job. O says ah, O says ah. Every letter makes a sound, O says ah. Good job, and O is a vowel, so it's a tricky one. O says O, oh, and it says ah. It has two sounds because O is a vowel. Okay, let's show you a capital O and a lowercase o. Do they look the same? Yeah, they do. The capital O is just bigger, and the smaller O is the lowercase O. But they're kind of the same, huh? Maybe the bigger O is more of an oval, 
and the little O is more of a circle, do you think? Okay, let's see what it says. You guys all do O again. O says ah, O says ah. Every letter makes a sound. O says ah. Good job. Okay, let's see what O has for us today. <gasps> Can you guys see my picture at the bottom? Who knows what that is? Good job, you're right, it's an octopus. An octopus swam in the ocean, swam over the waves in the sea. It raised its arms out of the water and waved eight times to me. Oh me, oh my, there it goes swimming by. Oh me, oh my, that octopus just waved. Bye-bye. Can you guys all wave bye-bye to my octopus? Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. What do you think? Did you guys learn anything in that about octopus? I hope you remembered a few things because I'm going to have some questions. But first we need to do... What's this? An octopus, very good. So we're gonna put that right up here on our letter O for O says off for octopus. And we're adding a letter. What letter are we adding? What letter are we adding? O, we're adding O to our chicka chicka boom boom tree. O says ah, very good. Okay, we are getting lots of letters on our chicka chicka boom boom tree. All right, now I can show you my special friend. Are you excited? Are you ready? Oh, here it is. Who knows what this is? It's an octopus, you're right. We just read a story about that. And where do octopuses live? Where do they live? Who knows? In the ocean, you're right. Can you guys all pretend to swim in the ocean? Swim, get out your big strokes. You have to swim, swim. Oh, good job. Can you look and see if you can see any octopus out there? What else do you see in the ocean? You see a shark? Oh no, what about a sea turtle? What about some fish? A clownfish? Like in Finding Nemo? And it's orange! Did you guys know the clownfish in Finding Nemo? He is orange also. Orange and white stripes. Have you guys seen that movie? He has an octopus friend. Did you know that? And how many legs do an octopus have? Do you know? Oh, who can tell me? Should we count and see? Can you guys help me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. How many arms do a, does an octopus have? Arms or legs or both? Eight, yes, good job, eight. They have eight. And guess what? Um, octopus have no bones in their body. It's all muscle. So they can squeeze really tiny. You know how we can't bend our arms in half? because we have bones, so it's hard. Can you guys feel your arms? Hit your arm, can you feel that right there? That's a bone. But did you know that octopus don't have any bones? Okay, now feel your cheeks. Can you guys squish your cheeks? There's not any bones right here in your cheek. It's kind of squishy, right? So you can squish it. That is how the whole body of this guy is. So they can squeeze so tight and fit through little, little holes. Is that so crazy? They can fit through a hole like this big. Like our little O. O for octopus. Ah, ah, octopus. Do those sound the same? 
Very good. Okay, where do octopus live? In the ocean. Very good. And how many legs do they have? Eight. Yes. Kiss your brains. Kiss your brains. You remembered. Good job. Okay, now I'm going to teach you something else about these little guys. They are pretty special because they squirt out ink to protect themselves. So when they squirt out ink, it makes them so they're invisible, so they can't see, or so people can't see them or other animals. Because sometimes other animals that are big, like sharks, they want to eat them. So, Miss Melinda has some black water right here. You guys see? Ooh. And I am going to put some in the octopus water. And we're going to see if it looks like his black ink that he squirts out. And if it makes us not be able to see some of the octopus. Do you guys think it's going to hide some of the octopus? <gasps> Ooh, it's getting darker. There's two squirts. <gasps> Can you guys count with me? How many squirts do you think it's going to take? There's three squirts. It's getting covered. Four squirts. Five squirts. Oh, if it was all the way in the water, let's hide it in there. Let's see. Can we see it? Let's maybe do one more squirt. Should we do one more squirt? Oh, did that hide our octopus? So it's ink inside the body hides the octopus from his enemies. <gasps> so now you don't even know there's an octopus in here. What? Do you think it's still in there? Do you think my octopus is still in here? <gasps> Look at it. He is, he was just hiding behind his black ink that he squirted out. <gasps> what? That is so crazy. Isn't that cool that that's how they protect themselves from sharks and different animals that want to eat them? Okay, that was fun. Was that fun to learn about octopus? Okay. Let's see, what orange things did you guys find? Can anyone tell me anything orange they found? Oh, wow, that's so great! You guys did such a good job! I love it! What about ovals? Did anyone find anything that's an oval? Can you look around your house? Oh, do you have maybe a clock that's an oval? Do you have a mirror? That's an oval. What about a plate or a decoration on your wall? Look it, I have a couple things. I have a rug. This is an oval. See how it's long and skinny on the sides and then it's shorter up here on the top and the bottom. So this is an oval. Let me show you the difference. This is a circle. So we have a donut circle and a rug oval. So do you see how this is just really round? Can you get out your finger and do a circle? Do it around and around and around. Now you're going to draw an oval with your finger. So go all the way up and down and around. All the way up, down and around. All the way up, down and around. So it's really tall. See how it's long on the sides and short on the top and bottom? Okay, so that's the difference between an oval and a circle. So what shape is this? 
oval. Very good. An oval starts with O. Okay, I have another one for you. What shape is this? Another oval. You're right. This is an oval. It kind of looks like a mirror. I think it's supposed to be a mirror. What shape is this? A star. Yes, you're right. So an oval and a star. And what shape is this? A square. Very good. Okay, can you guys tell me what these are? What is this? Oval. Very good. What shape is this? A star. Very good. What shape is this? Oval. Even though it's not turned like this, it's still an oval when it's like that. Is that so tricky? And what shape is this? A circle. Yes, good job. A circle and a square. Very good. Okay, good job doing all of my shapes. And especially ovals because they start with letter O. Very good. Alrighty. I'm going to show you my special friend. Hello, all my friends. I am an old lady. Oh, 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 old. Did you hear that? Old starts with letter O. Can you guys say old? Old. Hello. Did you guys say old with my old lady? Do you like her? Is she so fun? Say hi. Hi to my old lady. Old starts with O. Oh, 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 old. Okay, I'm gonna pull out some things out of her mouth. What does she have in her mouth? Do you guys wanna find out what she has in her mouth? Oh my goodness. Why does she have all these things in her mouth? <gasps> Whatever could it be? Oh no. Do you guys have these kind of things inside your mouth? What? Okay. I have a lot of things that she had in her mouth. Look at all those things she had in her mouth. Okay, I'm gonna set those down. And I'm gonna hold up my old lady. So you guys can see my old lady. Don't punch yourself in the eye, old lady. <laughs> okay, and then we have, there was an old lady who swallowed a fly. Do you guys think she swallowed a fly? My old lady swallowed a fly. Oh no, there was an old lady who swallowed a spider. Should we find the spider? Let's find the spider. Here it is. The spider, she's gonna swallow it. That wriggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll die. Let's see, where's the fly? Did she already swallow the fly? Is the fly already in her? Look at, she already had the fly inside of her. So she swallowed the fly and now she swallowed the spider. Oh goodness, this old lady, she's so silly. There was an old lady who swallowed a bird. Oh, where's the bird? How absurd to swallow a bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll die. <laughs> Can you guys do that with me? <laughs> there was an old lady who swallowed a... What's this? Cat! What? She swallowed a cat. Fancy that to swallow a cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider. She swallowed... She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll die. <laughs> there was an old lady 
who swallowed a dog. What a hog to swallow a dog. She swallowed the dog to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll die. <laughs> okay, what do you think she's gonna eat next? My old lady, she's getting so fat. Can you guys stick out your tummies and make them so fat? Oh, stick it out so fat and pat your tummies. Okay, should we see what she eats next? Okay, here we go. There was an old lady who swallowed a goat. How did she swallow a goat? She opened her throat, ah, and swallowed a goat. She swallowed the goat to catch the dog. She swallowed the dog to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll die. <laughs> What's next? There was an old lady who swallowed a cow. I don't know how she swallowed a cow. She swallowed the cow to catch the goat. She swallowed the goat to catch the dog. She swallowed the dog to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll die. <laughs> okay, what's next? There was an old lady who swallowed a May, May, a horse. Oh no, she swallowed a horse. There was an old lady who swallowed a horse. And she burst, of course. Look at the lady. She burst all of the animals out of her. She ate way too many animals. Is that so silly? She ate all of those animals. My old lady. Did you guys like my old lady? Was that fun to have her come play today? Say bye, old lady. Bye, friends. Bye-bye. We'll see you next time. You be a good little boy and girl, okay? Don't make your mama get mad at you. You better listen or else you're going to eat some goats and cows. And then you might explode. She's so silly. Say, no, I won't. I won't do that. Say, bye. Bye, old lady. Say, bye this time for reals. Bye. Oh, you want her to come back? How come you want her to come back? You do? Say, old lady, come back. Oh, she heard you. Hello, hello again. Hi to all my friends. Hello. <laughs> okay, bye. It's time for my old lady to go home. Say bye. Bye, old lady. Have a nice day. See you later. Okay, bye. Bye to our old lady. <laughs> I'm glad you guys liked my old lady. That was fun to have my old lady friend. Okay, I have two nursery rhymes that both say old lady in them. This one, or old mother, this one's an old mother and the other one's an old woman. So first we're gonna do old mother Hubbard. Have you guys heard of that nursery rhyme before? Can you guys see the old lady with her dog? Old Mother Hubbard went to the cupboard to get her poor dog a bone. But when she got there, the cupboard was bare. And so the poor dog had none. Should we do that one again? Old Mother Hubbard went to the cupboard to get her poor dog a bone. But when she got there, the cupboard was bare. And so the poor dog had none. Good job. Can you guys say it with me? Old mother hovered, very good, went to the 
cupboard to get her poor dog a b bone, yes. But when she got there, the cupboard was bare, that means empty. And so the poor dog had none. So he was sad because there were no bones left in his cupboard. They were all gone. Good job. Okay, that's our old mother Hubbard. And now our other one is about an old woman that lived in a shoe. What? Did you guys know there was such a thing? A lady lives in a shoe? Could you fit in a shoe? No. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. She gave them some soup without any bread and spanked them all soundly and sent them to bed. Okay, can you guys do the actions with me if you remember? There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. She gave them some soup without any bread, then spanked them all soundly and sent them to bed. Good job. Can we do it one more time? Can you guys do it by yourselves? There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. She gave them some soup without any bread, then spanked them all soundly and sent them to bed. Good job! You guys are so good at doing nursery rhymes. Very good. Kiss your brain. Kiss your brain. Yes. Air high five. Can you give me air high fives? Ah, look at the octopus ink made my hand weird colors. <laughs> Is that silly? Okay, I have one more little thing to show you. These are opposites. Uh, uh, opposites also starts with the letter O. Yes, good job. Okay, so an opposite is like this. We have front and back. Okay, so you guys, can you guys touch the front of your body? Now touch the back of your body, the front and the back. So those are opposites. Can you guys say opposites? Opposites, very good. So we have front and what's the opposite of front? Front, back. Can you guys see the front of the boy and the back of the boy? Okay, the next one is tall. Can you guys see that tall man? Stand up as tall as you can. <gasps> Maybe even reach your arms up to the sky as high as you can. Be so tall. And what do you think's opposite of tall? <gasps> what do you think? Short, you're right. So now can you get really short? Pretend you're really short. Good job. So we have tall, stand up really tall. And then we have short, tall, short. Those are what? Opposites, very good, opposites. Okay, I have another one for you. This one is happy. Can you guys make a happy face? Happy, what's the opposite of happy? Sad, you're right. Sad, can you guys make a sad face? Sad, we have happy, sad, happy, sad. Those are called opposites. Very good. These are opposites. Okay, we have another one. What's this clown doing? He's laughing. Can you guys laugh? Ha ha ha, ha ha ha. Is that so funny? And what's the opposite of laugh? What do you think? <laughs> Cr 
cry. Yes, we have laugh and cry. Can you guys laugh? Ha 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 Like a clown? Ha 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 ha. And now cry. Boo hoo 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 hoo. Is that so sad? Are those opposites? We have laugh and cry. What are they? Opposites. Very good. So anything that has an opposite, front, back, tall, short, big, little, open, close, up, down, those are all called opposites. Very good. Okay, so if you guys can find anything today, point out things that are orange around your house, or things that have opposites. And for an extra bonus, you can find things around your house that are ovals. That might be kind of tricky. Have fun with letter O. Bye. Bye, my friends.